and welcome back to Rob's Homemade and today we're here for a nice drinks review. I was uh, shopping like I normally do now now there. That's got loads. Um, and I spotted this drink. It's Joker IPA Wickedly Hoppy. The can is awesome. Absolutely bang on. It was four cans for a fiver. Wicked. It just looked amazing. I thought I've got to get me one of those. I don't know if anybody's seen this can before. Joker IPA Wickedly Hoppy. Water malted barley, malted wheat, malted rye, oats, hops, yeast. Lots of other stuff I cannot pronounce. But anyway, there's a bit of a history lesson. It's William Brothers Brewing, Scotland. So, Mr. James Nixon, you might have seen this, you might not. Um, Joker IPA, originally developed in the 18th century for export to the Far East, IPA Indian Pale Ale survived the long sea voyage thanks to its high gravity and generous hop content with a fresh citrus aroma and bittersweet full flavour Joker is one wicked brew like I said the can drew me straight to it I do love the Joker films I love Batman films all the, that type of DC stuff so I thought yeah I'll have a look like I said William Bros Brewing Corporation produce of Scotland it's not just produced for Aldi but they are doing some wicked IPAs and uh, prices at the moment on stuff like this. So I grabbed four for five. Johnny Boy's already had one. I'll give him one of these of the day. Um, he said he enjoyed it. So I'm going to try this for the first time. Wickedly hoppy. Definitely smell the hops. It's going to be clean and crisp, I hope. I'm getting good at this pouring mark. I should be after all these years. So, like I say, strong hoppy smell. Lovely flavour. There's a bit of citrus there. I don't sure if it's lemon lime or I'm not 100% sure. But let's give it a go. So this is Joker IPA. Thank you very much. Cheers and good health. That's nice. I feel it's very standard taste and flavour aroma and that's what this is. There's nothing added to make it any different to the standard IPAs you get. But like I said the can and the design was just awesome. I'm going to keep that can and put it on my shelf with all my sauce bottles. I am going to record a video very soon of everything that I've got upstairs, all the empty bottles, some of the challenge boxes, I'm going to go through them all, get them all organised, go through them all and show you some uh, some of my collection, hopefully you guys um, I'd like to see that, fingers crossed, it'll make a good video I'm sure. Um, so yeah, standard IPA, I'm going to give it a 7, it's tasty, it's smooth, it's crisp, it's clean, it's a really tasty ale, so cheers. Oh, very nice. Four for a fiver. You can't really complain for a 500 mil can. 5% ABV as well, so it's a decent, decent strength alcohol volume. Not going to blow your mind, but four or five of them probably would get you a little uh, tipsy, shall we speak. But it's a good drink. Solid, solid, tasty drink. So if you're in Alde or anywhere else, I suppose, especially in Scotland, and you see the Joker IPA Wickedly Hoppy drink, brewed in Scotland, excellent William Brothers. I've done a, a fair few of their drinks, to be fair. They am a good brewery and produce some wicked stuff, especially the flavoured stuff. So once again, thank you very much. Cheers. I'm now going to go sit in the garden, chill out in the sun, finish that.
Maybe have a bit of food. So I'm gonna give it a strong seven. It's tasty. It's a good, 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 very good IPA. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will be back with more food reviews, drinks reviews, plenty of challenges, but I've got to find time for those. Work commitments are hindering me doing challenge videos at the moment, but I will be on them ASAP. So thank you very much. See you very soon. Peace.